How's it going everyone and welcome back to LTA 3D. Are you currently experiencing issues with your Flashforge 3D printer? Did these issues start after a firmware update? If you answered yes to both, then fear not, this is the video you are looking for. Today I'm going to walk you through how to manually upgrade or downgrade your Flashforge printer's firmware. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is download the firmware version that we want to install. Now, you used to be able to do this by going to FlashForge's website and downloading it from their download center page. Um, but unfortunately, this is very outdated and hardly updated. So um, what we need to do is we need to actually reach out to them via email and supply them with the version we're after and they will hopefully get back to us pretty quickly with what we're after. If you're currently experiencing issues with a 5M series printer, then from my own personal experience, uh, 2.6.5 and 2.6.6 .6 are stable and the ones to ask for. I'll have their support email on the screen here and linked in the description down below so you can uh, reach out to them ASAP. Once you've downloaded the file, you need to extract it with a software like WinRAR or WinZip and transfer the extracted files into a blank USB on the main directory. In other words, straight on the USB, not in any sort of folder. We are then going to plug this USB into our FlashForge printer and power it on. If all the steps have been followed correctly, then your FlashForge printer should start upgrading or downgrading its firmware. Once the firmware has been installed, remove the USB, restart the printer, and you're done. Now, I definitely recommend doing a full calibration before doing a new print just to make sure everything's good. Uh, and also, if you seem to be having issues with uh, your printer actually registering the USB, I've personally noticed with the 5M series printers, it's very picky with the USBs. I use a SanDisk USB 16 gigabyte and I've had no issues whatsoever. So if you're having issues, look for a SanDisk one, 16 gigabytes minimum, it should be good. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe. If you want me to make more tutorial-based content on this channel, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, happy printing.